installation and operation of 2,000 度 induction heating furnace. Unscrew the side panel screws. Remove the bezel. Put the vacuum pump here. Make sure the switch is on. Pass the power card through the bottom. Connect to the socket. Connect the vacuum pump bellows. Tighten the buckle. Close the cover. Tighten the surrounding screws. Align the dough pin plug with the dough pin socket and press it in. Align the third pin plug with the third pin socket and press it in. Tighten the nut. The water inlet of the equipment is connected to the water outlet of the water cooler. The water outlet of the equipment is connected to the water inlet of the water cooler. This is the water outlet and water inlet of the water cooler. This is the water cooler water inlet. Connect the shielding gas line. Open the cavity cover. Open the front cover of the chamber. Move the mold to the appropriate position. Ensure that the sample in the crucible can be poured into the mold. Add a sample. Close the cavity cover. Tighten the buckle. Close the front cover of the chamber. Tighten the buckle. After the power cord is connected, turn on the main power switch of the device. Turn on the main switch of the heating power supply. Power on the device. Click Ignore. Click to enter the operation interface. Open the water cooler panel. Turn on the switch. Close panel. Turn on the water cooling pump switch. Turn on the heating power switch. Click to enter the curve settings. There are few options in total. Choose the appropriate option according to your needs. For example, choose option E. One solution can set sensor temperature ranges. You can also set the temperature and the time of each section according to your needs. After setting, click Return. Click to turn on the vacuum pump. Observe the vacuum value changes. When the pressure gauge shows the lowest pressure, turn off the vacuum pump. Then the protective gas. When the pressure gauge shows close to the end, 
Close the protective gas valve. Click to start heating. Turn on the light after heating is completed. Turn the push rod to pour the liquid into the mold. After the temperature cools down, open the air valve. Open cavity. Remove the mold. Unscrew the screws around the inside. Remove the sample. The experiment is completed.